Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about Solar Direct DC application which don't require battery and charge controller to operate. There are commonly three methods. Let us go one by one. The first method is direct connected to the load without any components. So for this installation, make sure the ISC of the solar panel. So for example, the short circuit current is 1.87. This one must be lower than the operational of your, your load current. So in this case, this is 2.3 M. And one solar panel can only operate in one load. So for second example, I will be using the bridge pump, which is a uh, three ampere. So this is the first type that don't need protection. That means you can directly connect it to a load. The second method is by using the DC-DC converters. There are few types of converter. This one is the CC-CV converter. Normally, it's used for charging a battery. They, they got the two trim port over here. One is to adjust the voltage, one is to adjust the current. And this is the normal CV constant voltage converter this is a general purpose application so got one, only got one trim port is to adjust the output voltage and the USB type module this is to convert the wide range of voltage input into a USB standard port so this one you can use to charge your handphone or USB gadgets Another type is also similar but this is the cigarette lighter and it has exact same function as this. So besides the motor based operation, we can also use to charge a USB gadget. As you can see, the charging power doesn't exit the operational of the load. Even though I'm using a 30 watt panel. And the output only about 7 watt without damaging the load. So the DC-DC converter can protect the load from oversized panel. As for third example, we will be using the PWM speed controller module. It is an enhancement for method 1 and only for motor based loads. You got a potential meter to adjust the output power of the solar panel. So for this example, I will be using two panel 18 watt, 18 watt in series so that it come out with 36 volt and to operate a 12 volt load. We will see the difference between using PWM motor control and without so the setup is very easy the output of the solar panel is about 36 volt you entering in the input side of the PWM speed controller and also the bypass switch to the load so the PWM speed controller output will also go to the load so this is a changeover for example, we need PWM to be activated, we just turn on the left switch. So if you want to bypass without using this PWM, we can override using the right side. 
directly to the load without going through here so currently I'm using a bridge pump as a sample so during tuning it can be reduced or increased to the maximum point yeah, this one should be the maximum point of the power so let's turn on again for bypass Okay, when using PWM speed controller so this is the main difference so for this second example I'll be using a 16 VMP solar panel and you can see the difference in the meter so now it's about 7 or 8 volt and only 13 watt so let's switch for the PWM function The solar panel tracking at about 12 volt. I'm sorry, not tracking. It's because I, I manually adjusted to the sweet spot. So you see the increment is about 20 watt. I turn it on again. I turn it bypass. Turn it bypass. It's about 13 watt. 